Yo, what's going on, sexy Sable? Let us go today. We're doing a rank 21. I'm playing Charybdis because I, she's the only character in the entire game that I don't have mastered. Let me show you, mastered, not mastered. She's the only character in the whole game that I don't have mastered. And I thought, you know what? It's time. <laughs> it's time. Nut up or shut up. Another Poseidon on the day. A little weird. A little weird. But you know what? Happy Hanukkah to this guy. Happy Hanukkah to this guy. I'm going to go Mannequin Scepter and I'm going to go into um, just a Transcendence. This time we hunt gods. That's a line. He's a, He's got 1200 MMR. That's a line in my favorite song called Bow Down. Oh, no, it's not my... Sorry, wrong wrong song. That's not my favorite song. That's a line in um one of my favorite songs called Wishing Wells. And he goes, uh, well, I'm not going to sing it, but <laughs> it's a good song. If you guys don't know what it is, uh, I recommend either listening to it. Well, I don't know. If you like Hi, metal... <laughs> the triple auto hits are so satisfying, dude. They're honestly pretty good. Can you not though? What if what if you didn't? What if you didn't do that and maybe I maybe I said you did though? Do -do 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 -do. All right, the problem with Charybdis is that Mannequin Scepter is not nearly as powerful. So her clear is kind of bupkis a lot of the time. But even though it's a little bit bupkis, it's not horrible. He popped med. All right, not the worst thing. All right, now I can do his blue buff here. Are you going to steal it? Okay. Oh, oh, let's go, dude. I actually landed the auto or the, the alt. I mean, I don't think I've ever landed that. I, don't, <laughs> I actually don't think I've ever landed the alt freehand like that. Did they make it faster or something. You guys are going to have to tell me. I, I, like I said, I actually don't know a lot about smite right now. Like any of the, the past couple patches. Um But yeah, like I dude, it's a wild. I'll just use this and then I'll cancel it. I well actually, is canceling it even good? I wonder I mean I'm sure someone has done the math about it, but I wonder when it's good to use your one with Charybdis and when it's good not to use your one with Charybdis. Also, can anyone tell me if they are Charybdis main in chat? In the in the comments section? Because I really would love to know. Because this god gets so much hate. So much hate and so much disrespect. And I feel like... Like, there's got to be some Charybdis lovers out there. And I'm not talking about that way, you weirdos. Because <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know some of you are going to take it that way. That is not what I meant. I just took a tower shot for seemingly no reason. He missed. Okay, but why? Um, all right, if I freehand another ult. Um, you don't want to fight me? Let's absolutely go. Let's app dude. They definitely made that faster. There's no way they didn't. There's no way they didn't. Like, there's no way that I miss 90% of my alts and then all of a sudden hit them. Also, can you like if just opening this screen is so overwhelming? Holy shit. It's like a novel. Like I'm reading a Harry Potter book book. Just by opening this screen. Do you lose damage on your autos when you do this? Splinter damage minion. Oh, yeah. You lose percentage of damage on your autos. I actually didn't know that. 
It felt like I did because I was only hitting for like 98. When do you not? At max rank, you have full damage autos. I mean, it's still worth it though. Like you still clear like hecka faster. Can you come over here? Hey, yeah. What does that do? Does that shred? It puts a debuff on him. It slows him. And reduces his physical protection by 40%. Actually, that's kind of ridiculous. 40%? Did I read that right? On max tide? Holy crap, dude. That's so broken. Dude, the fact that I can just go into my three and just, just act like nothing happened. Hold on, hold on. Easy. Oh my god. They 100%. He left the game! Dude, you could have surrendered in literally a second. Literally one second. If you just waited one more second. <laughs> You know what? That's okay. I'm going to edit these together. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll uh, I'll see you guys in game number two. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Sexy Simulator Squad? Game number two in the uh, the final video of today. He banned a bunch of magical ADCs right out the gate. So I figured because he banned three magical ADCs right out the gate, he probably doesn't want to fight a magical ADC. So you know what I did? I picked a magical ADC instead of Charybdis. <laughs> I felt like not only is it funny, not only is it funny, but it's also very funny. You know what I mean? All right. He's got, his name is Insomnia. He's got 3246 MMR. That's a lot of MMR. <laughs> We've had three magical A physical ADCs. He still play one Satch. <laughs> Oh god, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, you too, man. I don't know who Insomnia is, but he's got a GM border. Uh, or not border. He had a GM... Well, no, technically, it was called a border. He had a GM thing for duel. So I'm sure... Is he coming over here? No, he gave me this. I think he's doing blue buffs. Probably two blue buffs. He's doing blue buffs. Fine by me, bro. Oh, my damage, dude. Oh, my damage. This is my buff. Thank you so much. don't actually think he wins that and i'm pretty sure he knew it that's why he backed off but i did get his buff which is really good for me means i am two buffs to his one wonder if he's gonna tp in oh he wanted to he wanted to but he but he waited a little bit too long but yeah this could be a crazy game dude this will be a, this will be a really nuts game he's got um he said he's got 3200 mmr I will say because the minimum MMR you gain now is 15, um, no matter who you're fighting, it is much easier to get high MMR, like into the 3000s. So I'm not exactly sure if he's like super Omega OP, like if he's hella good. Oh, probably, he probably is. Honestly, like anyone with 3200 MMR, even with, without, um, or with or without a minimum of 15, like it's obviously they're great players. But also, you got to keep in mind that he's Chalk and I'm Freya, so. It is unfortunate for him that I, I mean, well, I don't know. I picked Freya because he banned Kronos, Oleron, Soul, like, as his first three bands. So I immediately was like, okay, he doesn't want to fight a magical ADC, so I'm going to be one. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be a hard game for him to win. 
I'm not delusional about the fact that this matchup is definitely in my favor. At least for now. He will go Thorns, and once he gets Thorns, it's going to be a bit harder for me. But I still don't think it'll be, like, impossible by any means. It'll be tough, but... What in life is not tough nowadays, you know what I mean? Don't do it. He doesn't have ult, right? So, like, I think he just dies here. Okay, that was actually kind of close. Because I almost missed. I almost messed up and completely whiffed. It's okay because I didn't, though. And he actually ended up getting Jotuns there. I wonder if I can meet him at my buff. I wonder if I'll be able to meet him at this blue buff here. Or if he'll be able to do it fast enough. He does have um, full Jotuns and Boomba's Hammer. Not Boomba's Hammer, but Boomba's Dagger. But actually, looks like he's giving me this. In the hopes that he gets his own blue. Which is good for me, believe it or not. Because, you know, um, that just means that I have two buffs and a better hold on the two buffs that I actually own. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the craziest thing I've ever seen. Ah, okay. I guess we're just clearing. No big deal. I'm down to trade the clear. Okay, kind of rude. Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay, so I see his game plan. His game plan is just to farm until Boomba's hammer and hope that he wins the game off of Boomba's hammer. But I don't think that game plan works when you're fighting a Freya. Fight in TP. Yeah, I don't think that game plan works when you're fighting Freya because my late game is better than anybody else's. Like, my late game is as good as Kronos. So, I feel like waiting for the late game is probably not the play. Did you just die here? Oh, no, that's fine. All right. I will say I'm a little bit scared in the sense where I'm not going any defense yet. And not going defense is scary against a warrior with already high base damage building into more damage. So I will say that's a little bit terrifying right out the gate, but be fine, hopefully. Definitely don't win any fight against me. If you think you do, you're just absolutely delusional. Perfect. Perfect stuff, dude. Perfect stuff. I think he, he thinks maybe... I don't know, because the thing is, is like... Obviously, you're not going to win the, the fight versus Freya. Like, you don't win the matchup just in general. And it's not conceited to say that, because I know matchups. And, um... It seems unfightable. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty horrible matchup. But also, like... He's being way too aggressive. Like, he's making all these plays that I assume he thinks he has to make. But, I mean, in reality, in reality, the only thing he has to do is wait until he hits a, a power spike. Like, damage-wise, a power spike big enough to, to deal with me, right? Because, like, I'm not going defense right now. And I'm not even going to go defense next item because I want the game to be even. 
Right, I want the game to... Like, I want him to have a little bit of fun, if I can. Um, so instead, I'm just going to go, like, Toxic Blade or something next instead of going... I could just go Breastplate and, like, completely wipe the floor. But that seems a little not fun. I'm not going to do that. But, um... Yeah, he, he, he needs to recognize that he needs to wait for a power spike. And then once he gets the power spike, then he needs to fight me. Like, these... these kind of pseudo spikes that he's fighting me at are not good enough to do anything. Oh my god. My damage was so nuts there. Man. GG, man. Hard stuff. Yeah, that's a, that's a rough matchup. I mean, to be fair, though, he kind of, like, with his first three bands being all magical bands, you kind of understand he doesn't want to fight a magical ADC. But, um, plus 100 MMR. I would like to see what he, uh, what he plays normally, actually. What do I lose 100 MMR? I mean, you have 3.3k. Of course, you lose 100. <laughs> What do you mean, why do you lose 100? You have 3.3k MMR. If you lose, you're going to lose 100. Yeah, the same thing, man. I had 3.25. <laughs> if you have, if you have 3,000, like, it, honestly, even at my MMR, even at, what, what is my MMR now? Even at 2,900, if I lose, I would expect to lose 100 MMR, just in general. But anyways, um... Just matchups lose for me. I don't get outplayed often. I wonder what what's his what was the name? Insomnia nineteen ninety nine. I want to go and I want to check his profile. It, it would be interesting if he uh oh he's hidden. Of course he's hidden. Let's check his chalk games though, because he had a he had a border on chalk. It'd be interesting to see if he mains chalk. He does. He does actually main chalk. That's weird. You don't see many chalk mains out here anymore. But you know what? Good for you. Good for you. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys as always. And until next time, guys, peace.